Morning peeps, I have another reading for you. This one is by E.G. White, and the verse for today is Matthew 5, 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Savior's words have a message of comfort to those also who are suffering affliction or bereavement. Our sorrows do not spring out of the ground. God doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. That's found in Lamentations 3:33. When he permits trials and afflictions, it is for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. That's found in Hebrews 12.10. If received in faith, the trial that seems so bitter and hard to bear will prove a blessing. The cruel blow that blights the joy of the earth will be the means of turning our eyes to heaven. How many there are who would never have known Jesus had not sorrow led them to seek comfort in him. The trials of life are God's workmen to remove impurities and roughness from our character. Their hewing, squaring, and chiseling, their burnishing and polishing is a painful process. It's hard to be pressed down to the grinding wheel, but the stone is brought forth prepared to fill its place in the heavenly temple. Upon no useless material does the master bestow such careful, thorough work only his precious stones are polished after the similitude of the palace. Now the Lord of glory was dying, a ransom for the race. In yielding up his precious life, Christ was not upheld by triumphant joy. All was oppressive and gloom. It was not the dread of death that weighed upon him. It was not the pain and the ignominy of the cross that caused his inexpressible agony, Christ was the prince of sufferers. But his suffering was from a sense of the malignity of sin, a knowledge that through familiarity with evil, man had become blinded to its enormity. Christ saw how deep is the hold of sin upon the human heart, how few would be willing to break from its power. He knew that without help from God, humanity must perish and he saw multitudes perishing within reach of abundant help. Upon Christ as our substitute and surety was laid the iniquity of all of us. He was counted a transgressor that he might redeem us from the condemnation of the law. The guilt of every descendant of Adam was pressing upon his heart. The wrath of God against sin, the terrible manifestation of his displeasure, because of iniquity, filled the soul of his son with consternation. All his life, Christ had been publishing to a fallen world the good news of the Father's mercy and pardoning love. Salvation for the chief of sinners was his theme, but now, with the terrible weight of guilt he bears, he cannot see the Father's reconciling face. The withdrawal of the divine countenance from the Savior in his hour of supreme anguish pierced his heart with a sorrow that can never be fully understood by man. So great was the agony that his physical pain was hardly felt. Every time I he read stuff like that, it's just heart-wrenching. I mean, the guilt I have for s some things that I have done just weighs heavy. Can you imagine taking the weight of all of ours? Every one of our sins he felt it's just phenomenal and that he would do that you know his he was not excited about doing it in the end i mean he's asking god you know why have you forsaken me but it says there that he was blinded from the power of god because of all the weight of sin i'm just so amazed that's all i gotta say about that i'm just so amazed that he would do that for me i i'm amazed i have my book peeps Good morning, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you so much for sending your son to take on such a horrible task just for us, just for me to take on my sins so that I might have a chance in this world and in your heavenly kingdom. I'm bringing up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that are just watching. 
we all are in sorrow of some kind on this earth because it is this earth and the mess it's in. Teach us to view Christ as our Savior and the one who can pull us out of this mess and bring us to heaven with him. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.